the SAS video tutorial on diagnostics for regression in SAS. Okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off last time. We're using the Sydney Hobart race data, which is in the repository below if you need to go grab it. There's other videos showing you how to read it in. Our previous video, we did some regression, and this is the code that we had from last time. Our data set that we've read in is read into a data frame called race, and this is the model we've set up. Now, what we want to do is actually look at some diagnostics. And in order to do the diagnostics on this, we need to be able to get the residuals out of this. Now, if we go back and look at our pictures over here from our output from this, it does provide a lot of information like residuals for time, uh, a histogram with a normal curve over it for the residuals. You can see the QQ plot of the residuals. But, but what if you want the residuals for something else? Uh, because none of these are actual tests. They're just visual diagnostics. So what if I want to actually test something? I actually need to get the residuals out of here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. So this is pretty simple to do in SAS. All I need to do is just add a little bit more information here, or a little bit more code, and we'll be able to get the information out. So what I'm going to do is create a new statement here called output. Now this will allow us to output a variety of information. So the first thing we need to do is Tell it where it's going to go. So out is going to go to, I'm going to call this race out. Now I'm not going to put a dot here because dots have special meanings in SAS. So don't put race dot out uh, or you could just do race out if you want. So I put this in, then I put the information that I want out of this. So if I put in here P, Y hat, that will give me the values of predicted values and uh, so these are the mean values at each of the points and R is the residuals. Okay. So in these, what I'm naming it here is Y hat is giving it the name of the value or the variable in the data set that we're going to create. So here I'm going to do resid is what I'm interested in. So here's Y resid. Okay. Then I'm going to do a semicolon and we're going to give this a run and see what happens. So give this a run. Okay, our output shows back up just like it did before. Now, what we should see over here in the Explorer is that when we go into the work library, you will see a new data frame called race out. So this has in it all of our data plus it has the predicted value and the residual for each observation. All the way down so it's taken our previous data set and tacked information onto it so it's not like it's its own data set with just predicted and residuals it actually has all the previous data to it too so keep that in mind and then from here we can do all kinds of tests that we may want to do on the residuals and one of the most common things we'd want to do is just know if it's normal so now that I have this additional data set now I can go back and do proc univariate on the residuals. So my data here that I'm going to use is race out. Okay, and the variable I'm interested in, well, I need to go back and look at my data set to make sure I get the name right. Uh, to get this right, you probably need to click on the properties here. So I'm going to right mouse click, look at column attributes. In my column attributes, I see that its name is Y resid. So that's what I'm going to use. And that was the name I actually named it before above. So if you see, it was Y resid right there. And uh, let's see, what else did I put in here? I had, what if I wanted a histogram? And then put slash normal. And that should put a normal curve on it. And then I'm going to run it. And I'm going to also put a quit because uh, just make sure everything closes out nicely. So let's run this here real quick. Proc Univariate runs. Uh, let's see here. It produced the picture that I wanted. So this is the histogram with a curve, which we did get in our previous output, by the way. So if you notice in our previous output, this would be this picture here. But what else we get is we get basic statistical measures and we get, uh, but these are on the residuals, not on the actual data. 
but we also get these tests for goodness of fit for normal distribution. And you see we get the Komogorov Smirnoff, the Kramer von Mises, and the Anderson Darling. So we can use these residuals, and you can see all of these p-values are quite big. So in our case, we would not reject the fact that it's normally distributed or approximately normally distributed. We'd go with that assumption and make all of our inferences based off that. Okay, so what we're going to do in the next video is figure out how to do some other testing, but this is the first step is getting the residuals out. All right, so let's move on to the next video.